Darren Moore, welcome to Huddersfield Town. Uh, how does that sound, Huddersfield Town Manager? Yeah, no, it, found, it sounds amazing um, to be Huddersfield Town Manager because it's a great club, it's a one, wonderful club and um, sort of once it was, there was interest of me possibly coming here um, and listening to uh, the chairman and, and you know, how he illustrated and how he looked upon the football club and the care and detail he looks upon the football club. Um, it really, really energised me really in terms of uh, wanting to come here and, 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 and made the move permanent now being really, really uh, honourable uh, time for me to be manager at Huddersfield Town Football Club. I think it speaks to your uh, ability as a manager and as a coach uh, in the jobs you've done so far that, that since you parted away with your previous club you've been linked with quite a few other opportunities and availabilities so it's it's no small matter for you to choose Huddersfield Town. What was it about this project and, and this club in particular that made you want to come here? Uh, the, 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 the project it was the ambition uh, of the football club the word I would use is progression um, and togetherness as one. Um, that was a m massive key word for me in terms of wanting to come and be a part of what's going on at his football club. Um, and that, that sort of um, listening to the chairman, listening to Mark, listening to Jake, they all was on the same page in terms of what they wanted to bring to this football club uh, in terms of going forward. So that um, sort of was passed on to me in, in the process and uh, I'm delighted to be here uh, and part of that vision, part of that ambition and part of that progressiveness as a, as a football club going forward. It's been a, a change of, of coaching and, and manager uh, that's not as usual as it may be. Usually clubs do this either in a position of weakness or, or results driven and, and that's not what we've done. It's been something that because the club is, is transitioning as a whole between ownerships and, and, and senior level, uh, the decision has been made at this point to, to go with yourself. The way that everybody, as you say, Jake, Mark, Kevin have, have spoken about yourself, that must give you so much confidence as you, as you come in into knowing that those people will back you and, and you know, feel supported by them. Yeah, and, and, and again, you know, as with the chairman being at the top and, and Jake and Mark, um, the way the, 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 the progress went in terms of uh, appointing me as manager, um, I am warmed by the process they went through uh, and the due diligence they've done in terms of the process. And I'm really grateful for that. Um, obviously, the work that we've done before um, has ticked a lot of boxes in in me becoming manager here, which I'm really really grateful for. But I'm I'm grateful to that point. But I'm even grateful for the opportunity because you can tick the boxes. But to be given the opportunity, that's where I'm truly grateful for because um, this is a magnificent football club. This is a football club that has a lot of good things said about the football club. So to be part of it um, at this part of the journey and this next chapter is a wonderful thing for me to say and sit here and, and it's a proud moment for me here sitting here now. So now that the appointment's been made, now Reg is just about getting on with the work in hand and there's a lot of hard work ahead, but myself and the staff are really looking forward to it. The group will be ready to work as well. Um, they're in good form at the minute, which helps. They've, they've won two of the last three, drawn the, the last one. Another game straight away on, on Monday against Coventry City. Um, that's a, a nice position for you to be in to, to try and pick up on that momentum and build on it now. Yes, and, and, and that's the thing, what I said, you know, in terms of where the players should be, mindset and mentality should be uh, at an all-time high uh, in terms of where they're at. Um, so that will um, sort of enthrill myself and the staff in terms of where they're at, but that's what we're expecting. But obviously once you get in the dynamics and, and working with them, I'm sure they'll give us more uh, to whet our appetite in terms of what they're about, the players that they are, um, the, them expressing themselves to their full uh, capabilities, but also them embracing uh, myself and the staff in terms of working together for everybody to be on the same page in regards of improvement. You, you speak about your staff and um, we've obviously got a number of settled first team staff that have been here previously that will continue but you've brought a number of new faces in yourself. Would you just mind reintroducing a few of those to our supporters and, and who they are and what they were doing in your team? 
Yeah, so so you've got um, two assistant coaches in in um, Jamie Smith and Jimmy Shan. Uh, both of them will just work parallel um, in terms of working with the group on a day to day basis. The main group, uh, Simon Island, will be like sort of like a set play coach to uh, an individual coach, another coach in terms of working with individual players and practices, and as well as group sessions. So right across the board, and then we got Adriano Basso which is a goalkeeping coach, what will work really closely alongside the goalkeepers. Um, and that supports the, the immediate staff that do come in uh, and are able to implement on the group and start working with the group straight away. Um, they're good men, they're good guys, and um, they're good at what they do to, in terms of the coaching and setting up and uh, understanding the game in terms of where it's at. Um, and they've been with me from the start of the journey in terms of implementing and growing together and you know we continue to grow as a group um, and we're always open honest and willing to learn more different ideas and you know coming to um, Huddersfield Town it's been a wonderful um, first day experience the training quarters are uh, fantastic here and, uh, and what we'll end up doing we'll get up to the stadium and meet the, the rest of the staff up at the stadium. So as much as we've been here at the training ground, we do plan to go up to the stadium as well and meet all the stadium staff as well. That sounds exciting. And I'm sure they'll be, they'll be excited to, to meet yourself as well. One of, speaking of excitement, one of the, the um, quotes that stood out the most is how the sporting director, Mark Cartwright, has spoken about yourself and, and the intati, attacking intent that, that you will try and bring the team. Uh, because that's how the, the squad's made up. That's where... The feeling obviously is that we are the strongest. How exciting is that for you that the squad may be there for you to to play the football you want to play? Yeah, and and that's why you know in terms of asking the question where the squad's at, Raj, I'm really looking forward to working the squad. When I look on paper and I see the the individuals and the collective group what's on the paper, I am warmed by. It. I said I've got you've got some experienced players within the group that have a thirst and a desire and a hunger to want to improve, to want to do well, um, to want to still do things within the game of football. As you've got a younger current crop, what are learning their way and finding their feet and doing well and showing promising signs uh, of progression going forward. So you put those two ingredients in the, melt, in, in the mixing pot and that, and it's a wonderful dynamic group. And that's why I'm so really looking forward to working with the group in terms of going forward. Um, but also, I'm, what I'm trying to do is stay neutral as a manager and not limit myself to the players because I think they've got so much more to offer. So if I stay in a neutral zone, I think we'll see some of those skill sets um, come out in them as individual and collective as a group. Yeah, and I think as, as you get to learn more about your squad and, and the football club, the supporters will get to learn more about you and, and our new coach. I think that's the most important place for us to end the conversation is, is around those supporters because those are the, the ones that are the lifeblood of the football club, the most important thing to us. How excited are you to, to get to know more about them and, and to introduce yourself to the Huddersfield Town fans? Yeah, the, the, the fans is the heartbeat of the football club, really, in terms of the support in, and how they support the club through thick and thin, year after year passed on through ge different generations and continue to do so. So as a manager, I'm, I'm truly honoured to be at this football club and managing the magnificent football club that's been steeped in so much history and tradition uh, at this football club. Uh, so to be part of it is, is a wonderful honour for me. But I'm really looking forward to meeting the fans. I'm really looking forward to uh, for the fans energising the team when they come to the games, getting right behind the team and supporting the team. Um, and, and, and how vocal and loud they can be when, when they're ready to get behind the team, especially at home. So I'm really, really uh, pleased to be here. I can't wait um, uh, for the first games and then the home games to come really to, to just engage, but also, you know, to be engaging with them within the community projects that's going on as well. That's another thing that um, I'm highly motivated by as well, really. So, um, so yeah, my message is to the fans is you've been, you've been superb. Um, thank you for welcoming to the football club and I really look forward to seeing you all uh, really soon. Luckily, you don't have long to, to go to meet them. We'll let you go and do more important matters now, but congratulations on getting the role and good luck for the future, Darren. Thank you very much. Cheers.